Hello colleagues, my name is Yuri, I am co-founder and CEO of Supervisely and I am very glad to present the course, the video course that our team has put together to you. The name of the course Computer Vision with Supervisely Platform. And here is how the course is structured. So we see here two parts. The first part is introduction and it's just short section, 10 minutes long. And there is a main content, which is six hours video, way longer. And uh, in, this, uh, in this video course, I will show sometimes slides just to illustrate concepts, certain concepts. But the majority of the time will be devoted to live demos, where I will use, where I will do screencasting and actually use supervisory to solve uh, concrete tasks. Let us go through each section and, uh, and I will say a few words about each of the sections in this course. So the first section is introduction. This is quite important section because it explains the conceptual model of supervisor. It actually answers the question, what is supervisor? And this introduction starts with uh, the scope of tasks that supervisor addresses. And you will see straight away that the scope of tasks goes way beyond just basic labeling tasks. Essentially, Supervisely will address all the tasks in computer vision eventually. And that is like pretty ambitious statement. And you may say, okay, it's probably impossible to, to have some, some software that solves all the computer vision tasks. But in the solution part, we will explain our approach how to, how to attack this ambitious problem. So the main idea would be is not try to like create certain uh, software that solves every computer vision task by ourselves, but rather create to create an operating system that will have some core components and powerful apps on top of it. And the core components of supervised operating system is basic labeling interfaces for images, videos, and other modalities, collaboration tools. Uh, API and SDK are very essential, um, as well as some other components. But the key idea here is to answer the question what might be the apps on top. And the answer is that uh, apps are just GitHub repositories. Indeed, uh, there are thousands or maybe tens of thousands useful GitHub repositories created by community, uh, which are relatively isolated from each other. but they are quite valuable. And if we think of them, those repositories might be as simple as repos that allows us to take pre-trained models and, and, and run it and apply it to process and recognize images or videos, say. Or they might be advanced repositories from, say, OpenMM Lab that, will, that allows us to, try to train uh, complex deep learning models with the latest architectures. Um, and other types of rep repositories might be, say, some repositories that allows us to, to estimate how good our models are to, to calculate some performance metrics. There might be another types of repositories that do not even directly uh, connect it, uh, are, not, are not really connected to the deep learning itself and machine learning, say, a GitHub repository that contains the code that implements Jupyter notebooks, for example. And all these repositories, uh, in most cases, are just isolated. And what if we could find a way to take these repositories and unify them, put them uh, into like single system, make out make applications out of these repositories in a very specific way, so that whenever I would like to use certain repository, I could just use operating system, uh, supervised operating system from a web browser, just make one click open or run and start to interact with this repository via graphical user interface. So that's like the essential idea and conceptual model of Supervisor. And in this first uh, introduction video, this conceptual model and uh, the solution that I'm talking about will be described in way more detailed and a kind of more illustrative and step-by-step -step fashion. Okay, let's move on to the main content. So the concepts are good, but, but the, concept, the concepts might worth absolutely nothing until they are implemented. And the main content is about that. So it's about real tasks and how we can use supervisor to solve real tasks. 
So as I mentioned, six hours of content here, and let me say a few words about the sections. So we will consider uh, five principles. The first one is variety of labeling interfaces, the second one collaboration at scale, the platform principle, neural network principle, and enterprise grade principle. I, will, I would like to say a few words about each of the principles. So principle one, variety of labeling interfaces. Uh, it contains slides, just small set of slides, two minutes, uh, and live demo, the longest live demo in this video course, two hours. And the idea here that in the live demo, I will show you our basic labeling interface that is a part of uh, a core components of Supervised Lab. And I will show you how this labeling interfaces works to label images, videos, LiDAR data, DICOM data. But the true beauty will come next. It will come in the second and third parts of this live demo. And the beauty comes when we start to extend and augment these basic labeling interfaces with supervised apps, which are just a repository with graphical user interface on top. Uh, and, and this would allow us to make a labeling process uh, really efficient. I will show you dozens of examples of that in this live demo. And another important thing here is the ability to customize, uh, to customize either default labeling interfaces with supervised apps or just create new uh, labeling uh, interfaces for the task at hand so that these labeling interfaces are good at exactly one thing. So, and that's, that, that would be quite uh, long and interesting uh, content. Uh, okay, let me move on to the second principle, which is collaboration at scale. So, when we say collaboration at scale, we mean something like that. So, we mean that, say, if we have an organization who, uh, which is involved in a computer vision project, uh, there might be several people, several people with several roles uh, involved in computer vision project from this organization. Say it might be data labelers, data reviewers, data scientists, maybe domain experts, maybe software engineers, and all of them have to collaborate. And there should be some ways to to do that. And in this second principle, there is 30 minutes demo where I show how uh, the collaboration process might be organized within uh, small annotation teams, but the concepts shown uh, will be applicable to larger teams as well. The next principle is platform principle. This is principle number three, and this is quite essential principle to the entire supervised system. So uh, in this principle, we will primarily speak about apps. And in the live demo, I will show you more examples of apps and how they can be useful. I will also do an overview and, and explain what apps are available currently in supervised Lego system, how they are grouped together, how to run them, how to use them. Uh, and I will also take slightly different perspective here. I will speak from the developer perspective. So we will take an app uh, statistical app and modify it, add action to this app, so that this app is potentially more useful for specific tasks. Slides are also quite informative here, uh, because they will outline the difference between uh, supervised and alternative solutions, which are essentially tools, and supervised is a platform, and we see the tendency that when tools and platforms compete, usually platform beats the tools. The next principle is principle number four, neural networks. And in this principle, in the live demo, I show you more examples, more apps that rely on neural networks, on deep learning models to take predictions from them and use them to make the process, the labeling process more efficient. And I also uh, show you how we can train models for the tasks that we might not have uh, pre-trained model, models available. This is quite common scenario. And the last principle called, is called enterprise grade and it describes some enterprise related features as well as uh, it explains how we interact with the customers, what kind of support uh, they can expect and also we outline the differences between supervisory and other alternative solutions. I hope you will enjoy the video course and see you soon.